Hey family, it's Dr. Naima Johnston Bush from The Refreshing Life with Naima, and our goal is to help you to live a life of exuberant joy, powerful prayer, and sincere gratitude. Now, I know that Valentine's Day is coming up, and most of you know that primarily I am a Christian recording artist and an author and a speaker and a minister, but I do also write poetry. And so on this Valentine's Day, I want to celebrate love. Now, I waited a long, long time to get married. As a matter of fact, I was 39, ooh, 39 years old before I got married. So those of you who are waiting, keep hope alive. I married the perfect man for me. He's not perfect. He's just the perfect man for me. And it was because, you know, I remained faithful while I waited. I was about my father's business while I waited. And I kept myself, you know, in um, holiness while I waited. And what I got was much better than what I ever even asked for. And you can learn all about that story and all the lessons I learned and how I prepared to be a wife in my book, um, Lessons from the Back Seat, How I Learned to Be a Wife. And it's all from a Christian perspective. I know the name is kind of suspect. But anyway, so I wrote this poem on January 2nd, 2018 at 317 AM. And I thought it would be an amazing experience to share it with you. Now, I don't often share my poetry, um, but I thought that I would share this. So this poem is a testament of true love. And it goes like this. It doesn't really have a name. I guess I should come up with a name for it. What can I call it? Let's call it Ordained by God. <laughs> It's a very short poem, okay? So here it goes. I climb in besides you, listening to the rumbling of your nighttime mutterings. Pulling back the covers, I partake in intimacies, placing my ice cold, clammy feet under your leg. You don't flinch or move away, which assures me that this is a match ordained by God. Ha! Y'all thought I was going somewhere else. Ha, cha, cha, cha. But see, that's marriage. That's real marriage. When your husband lets you put your cold, clammy feet under his leg because they're freezing and he don't even mind, that's love. I'm telling you. Big ups to John Bush. Y'all have a good Valentine's Day. God bless. I tell you what, I've been working on training these eyebrows, but maybe I'm just going to have to get them plucked. Oh, Lord, help.